everyone welcome back to my channel today as you can see we are doing a Jessica rabbit look again I did paint my whole torso and if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook you will be able to see the whole torso look but I'm not going to show myself painting the whole torso because you know, my boobs are basically exposed. I just have band-aids on top of them, painting over them, so I don't really want to show that, like the process of me painting. But I show you how to do the whole face look, and I do show you some parts of my upper chest area. There's not a lot going on for Jessica Rabbit. It really is just a red dress, so there won't be too much. It's a pretty simple look. I'm also reviewing this wig from Eva Hair Official. It is a reddish brown, kind of like, natural kind of red wig it's so pretty it's super long but I do review it I show you how I cut the lace off of it and I brush it out for you I do do the whole makeup look first and then I put the wig on so the wig portion is at the end of the video so you can fast forward or you can watch the whole tutorial whatever you want to do but this is my Jessica Rabbit inspired look. She has some crazy brows, might I say. She was still smoking. If you guys would like to see how I achieved this Jessica Rabbit look, then just keep watching. Thanks guys. So I did lower my camera a little bit so we could see the chest better than what I usually do. And starting off using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, I am sketching out the dress. Very simple, I just did round shapes there. And now I'm taking my Makeup Forever Flash Paints and Aqua XL Paints and I'm mixing them together. They're both red, but I really feel like the Aqua XL helps to ensure that I don't need to set the paint because the Aqua XL paint's a little bit more dry than the flash paints, if that makes sense. It's just a different texture, basically. And I'm filling in my whole torso and I even kind of outlined my waistline so it looked really, really small as well as you could see in the picture I showed. Taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I'm using these two lighter shades to start shading the dress. That way it looks like it's sitting on top of my skin. I'm starting with the lighter one and I'm just trying to blend it into my skin tone and I'm going around all the edges of the dress. As I usually do, I looked at a reference picture of Jessica Rabbit, so I really made sure I got the outlines of her dress right and her torso and her shape right as well. And then I just take a fluffy brush and kind of blend all those edges out so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm taking a really small flat brush and I'm just blending black on the edges there and a little bit of dark brown as well. And I'm going around that white edge because I am going to bring the red paint up to that white edge. I just wanted to do a little bit of shading first so I didn't mess up the paint job. Now I'm taking the red up to those white lines. Taking a very thin line of Mayron Paradise paint in black, I'm just outlining the dress to make sure it pops out and it looks shaded more. You want to make sure the line is really thin though, you don't want to do a super thick line. I mean, you can if you want it to look more cartoony, but I did want it to look a little bit more realistic. Not super realistic, but you know. Then I'm taking black once more and going right up against that line. Now I am doing her side boob. 
This was really hard to do and something that I really need to work on is cleavage and kind of like a boob shape. But I started with the light shades that we did when shadowing the dress and then I'm taking a dark brown shade and kind of creating that curvature that she has on her side boob. Because I mean her boobs are ginormous, mine are nowhere near the size of Jessica's. I mean let's get real. Then I'm taking the LA Splash Cosmetics Pro Artist Liner in Alabaster. This is a really creamy liner so it's easy to blend and I'm just going where my boob would be lifted up. So I wanted that brown to be the shadow that's underneath of the boob and then I wanted the white to kind of represent the top of the boob that's hitting the light. I really hope that makes sense but this is something that I'm still really trying to work on is how to create cleavage very well. So hang in there with me. Then I'm just taking some black shadow and kind of cleaning up that dark line and then I'm doing the same thing for my cleavage in the middle there. Since I'm not wearing a bra and I just have my, you know, chest out, it's really hard to create that cleavage. Just a little bit of a challenge for me, which I don't mind. Sorry for my double chin, by the way, in this whole thing. I'm looking down the whole time during this, so I apologize. Now I am priming my lids. I'm using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. We're going to be covering up our brows today, so I am taking my Elmer's Washable Glue Stick. It looks purple, but it's translucent. It dries down. And I'm going back and forth on the brows. I've shown this a few times on my channel, but I'm just going back and forth and making sure all the brows are coated from the root to the end of the hair and in between all of that. Then I'm taking my spoolie and laying it down flat, not straight up, but in the direction that they lay naturally. And then I'm going back over it with glue as many times as I feel necessary to make sure it's all flat. Taking some translucent powder, setting it, and then I'm taking my Makeup Forever 12 color flash case. This is the more neutral one, skin tone one. I'm taking these two shades that are making sort of a peachy color to hide and color correct the darkness of my brows. So I'm just going over my brows with this and kind of blending it out into my skin tone and this will help color correct the darkness. Then I'm taking the flesh colored color in that palette <laughs> and I'm going right over the peach that we did. And same thing, blending it into my skin and then setting some more translucent powder on top of it. Then I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, priming my whole face. And then I'm taking my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. I'm in the color Vanille, and I'm just putting that on top of my brows and my forehead just to kind of get that peachiness to go away while we do our eyes. I'm not doing my whole face yet. Now I'm taking my NARS Soft Matte Concealer and I am carving out Jessica's lids. She has that crazy round shape on her lids and you, you kind of have to make a face when you look into the camera being Jessica and you need to like raise your eyebrows up really high and like tilt your head back a little bit to ensure that this shape shows. And I mean that's the kind of look she has like Marilyn Monroe-esque like bedroom eyes. So I'm just creating this shape with the concealer. This is my favorite concealer to use to do like cut creases or to carve anything out. I love this concealer. I also love it for my under eyes as well. Taking my Pastel Goth palette from Kat Von D. I will be using the white shade in this because this is the like most white shade I've ever used in my whole life, the color Skull, and I'm packing that on top of the concealer to set it and have a base for the shadows we're going to be putting on top of it. So I went ahead and did one eye already with the brow and everything, I wanted to make sure it turned out okay, and I'm taking the color, ooh, I forget what color that was. Anyways, the darker purple color, not the pink purple, the purple purple. And I'm just kind of shading on the outer edges with this purple shade. Then I'm taking my Star Crushed Minerals eyeshadow in Audacious Plum. It's a very dark purple. It's super pigmented. And I'm putting that right on the outer edge of the eye. I'm not really doing it on the inner corner of the eye, just the outer edge. And I'm blending that towards the center and I'm doing it on the top a little bit as well. And just keep packing on color until you feel like you've got it going on and you want to blend it towards the middle. 
You want to leave the outer edge a little bit darker and make it go lighter towards the center. And then I'm taking the brown shades from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and I'm just kind of creating a crease around it and deepening that outer edge around the lid to make it look like it's her lid. Then I'm taking my Stila Stay All Day Liner and I'm outlining the lid. Again, this will just make it pop and make it look like this is actually my lid and not just something false that I created. Go around that with some black shadow. And then take some more brown shadow and just really blend all those edges out and keep going back and forth until you feel like you've blended it well enough. Now doing the brows, she's got some crazy brows. I did mix together a black and a red Mayron Paradise paint just to give a red undertone so it wasn't super black, but they're just really round and raised. And I did them a little bit thicker in the front and thinner as we went out, but nothing special. They're pretty weird, but I mean, she's still good looking, so. Then I'm just packing that same white shadow on my brow bone to kind of highlight it and cover the brows a bit more. And going over that line with my eyeliner again, I do this two or three times. And then I was kind of cleaning up the edges with the purple shadow. And then taking the white shadow again and just packing it on top of everything so everything's blended and the center is really highlighted. Doing the rest of my foundation, I love this Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. It's super full coverage. I do like to do two to three layers of it, but it's so beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. And then I just took some and cleaned up the edges of the brow so there was no peach showing. Did my concealer. I used the Soft Matte Concealer and the Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer mixed together. I really have been liking that duo. It's been working really well for me. So did it underneath my eyes, my chin, my forehead, my nose, and my smile lines, and my cupid's bow. Taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, I am setting everything, especially my under eyes. But especially all the areas I put concealer at, I pack powder on top, and then I just take a big fluffy brush for the rest of my face. This is the eyeliner I've been using from Stila. It's so wonderful, it's my favorite. And I'm just doing a really small but straight cat eye. I mean, I guess it's not really small. Small for me. Jessica's got those sexy eyes though, so you gotta do something. Doing the line a little bit thicker around my lids. Then I'm just doing a little bit of that leftover shadow on that brush and just kind of going across my lash line. I'm trying not to make it round, I'm trying to make it really straight. Curl your lashes. And put some mascara on. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Smoky Extravagant Mascara. And then I'm really, really uh, contouring my jawline, but that's all I'm contouring besides my nose. I'm not contouring my cheeks. She doesn't have a contour, really, so not doing it. Then I'm just contouring my nose to make it look really small, really thin, and I'm making it look a little bit more pointed up. Nothing too crazy, but just a little something. And then I'm blending out all those lines with my damp beauty blender as well, so there's no harsh lines and it's all seamless. Go ahead and put your lashes on. I tried to make sure they weren't too long looking. I didn't want them super long, a little something, but nothing crazy. Then I'm taking my Sephora Cream Gel Liner, I'm putting some lip plumper on my lips, and I'm going to town. The gel liner I'm using is called Bad Apple. It's a brick red. I've used it a couple times, I do believe. But I'm really making my lips look pouty and a lot bigger than they actually are. So I'm going down on the sides of my lips, and then in the middle where my piercing is at, I'm kind of going up to a point. This will really make that Jessica Rabbit lip look perfect. And then I'm kind of cutting off the sides of my lips so they look a little bit more pouty. I'm not going all the way to the edges of my lips. Taking my LA Splash Cosmetics Wickedly Divine Liquid Lipstick in Bloodlust, I'm just filling in my lips. It's like the perfect shade of red. I love this lipstick.
If you need to as well, you can take some concealer and clean up the edges uh, if you want them to be more perfect. But yeah guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and here is the wig reveal. And my hair back. I laid it all flat with bobby pins and put both of my wig caps on. I like to do two wig caps because I really feel like it flattens the hair. So here's the wig. I have not brushed it or done anything. It's just straight out of the box. These are the curls. This is what it looks like. It is a lace front wig. The inside looks like it's got the three clips, um, like all of their wigs do. I'm going to attach it because their wigs are sometimes a little too big for me, so I am going to attach the little piece in closer. So I am going to brush through it a little bit before I put it on. So this is a wig brush that has a lot of hair in it already. I feel like sometimes the curls that come in wigs are just a little too tight and if you brush them out they'll look a little bit nicer. I mean this wig was shoved in a box for a little while <laughs> before it got sent to me so. Ooh. Okay. This no knots. There's no knots in this wig. Like I'm just literally brushing right through it. So there it is brushed out. Super pretty. Now we're gonna put it on. Nice and secure. Okay, so something I already love about this wig is there is no like certain way you need to part it. You can part it however you want to and that makes me super excited. I hate when you have to part wigs the way that they're parted and you can't like change it at all. I super hate that. So now we're going to go ahead and cut the lace off. Cut it off. Um, you can take it off and cut it, but I like to cut it while it's on my head. Okay. So I am going to move this tan, flesh colored wig cap up a little bit just to kind of blend that in with my skin tone a little bit more. So I really like it. I think it's really nice. Um, I might have to pluck a few hairs here, but I really like it. I think it goes super cute with this with this Jessica Rabbit look, and I will post a picture so you can see the whole thing. But yeah, I really like it. I always love Eva Hair Official's wigs. I have a Harley Quinn one from them as well, which I just am obsessed with. It's so nice. I'm going to read you a little bit about this wig and what it says on the website. So it is a synthetic lace front wig. Um, it retails for $109. It says it's on sale. It's usually $139. It's called the Reddish Brown Synthetic Lace Front Wig with Popular Wavy Style. So it's a reddish brown color, which it is. It's more of like a natural red. The material is high resistance silk, 26 inches long. The density is 150% heavy, which yes, totally. It's super, super thick. Right now they are doing a back to school sale, so you can actually save. 20% um, off if you spend over $69 and 28% off if you spend over $99. So that is the info on this wig. Thank you guys so much for watching this whole tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. It was pretty simple. I mean, you look like Jessica. I will have Eva Hair's all their information down below in the description box like their Instagram, their website. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel to see all of the Halloween looks coming up soon. It's happening so soon. Next month I am going to be doing some Halloween stuff, but I'm also going to be recording videos of me just kind of explaining what's the best way to get into special effects makeup and body paints, some advice, um, maybe like a good 
like what you should have in your kit I guess if you're trying to do it let me know if you're interested in that since Halloween is right around the corner I'm sure there's a lot of you who are wanting to start doing Halloween makeup but you're not sure where to start at but I can give you the best advice that I have thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you in my next video